Hi, Pastor Kip here. I'm excited to share with you about my summer sermon series this year. I've entitled it, Minor Prophets with a Major Message. In the Hebrew Scriptures, what we also call the Old Testament, there are 12 prophets that are identified as the 12 minor prophets. Now, this word minor has been confusing to a lot of people. It doesn't mean that they're less important, uh, kind of like the minor leagues of prophets. Rather, the word minor is an ancient word that means small or short, and it's a reference to the fact that these 12 prophets wrote shorter books than the major prophets like Isaiah or Jeremiah. Many of the 12 minor prophets are relatively unknown to people who populate churches, hear sermons, and share in faith and Bible study. People like Amos and Obadiah, Zephaniah and Micah and Malachi, they're usually only known in name only, if that. But in these stories and in these books are rich historical backgrounds to the lives of the ancient Hebrew people. And more importantly, the cultural context gives rise to these prophets. Each one rose at a certain time in the history of ancient Israel and addressed particular issues that were apropos to that time and place. But more importantly, these books still speak to us. These prophets still have a voice in our world. I think of a prophet like Hosea who struggled with his love life. His wife kept leaving him for other men, and yet he would go and retrieve her, express his love to her. He uses his struggle in marriage to speak to the people of ancient Israel about their relationship with God. And in the process, it speaks to us in our time. As a matter of fact, each of these 12 prophets has something to say to our world today, believe it or not. Even though they wrote and prophesied hundreds if not thousands of years ago, yet their voice is still relevant. I want us to hear these voices. So through the summer, we will preach through the 12 minor prophets, and we will engage our hearts and minds in discovering and rediscovering their ancient message that becomes more contemporary with each passing day. I hope you'll plan to join me this summer, beginning on June the 20th, for Minor Prophets with a major message. And may God give us hearts and ears to hear the truth that we need to hear from these prophets. I will look forward to seeing you soon at 11 a.m. right here in the sanctuary or online as we worship together and move through this summer. God has something special to say to each of us. I'll see you then.